Hello and welcome to episode 5 of our Autumn Court campaign. So in the last episode, I asked you guys what you thought was the best idea group for us moving forward. And while there were good arguments for both expansion and exploration, I think I am going to go with exploration ideas. First, the quest for Atlantir allowing us to explore more of the surrounding area is going to be very important for us to continue expanding. Two, we don't have the economy to support too many colonists right now, and so expansion might be a bit of a waste for a while. And three, we still have a lot of land to conquer in the Ordened region, and that's going to cost admin points. And so I'd rather spend the money on, or not the money, the uh, monarch points on diplomatic power in order to ensure that we can continue to expand, because expanding is definitely what we are going to be doing. Uh, and speaking of expanding, we are going to go ahead and move our troops down to the south because that is where the first war of the day is going to take place. We are going to go at the nation of Elkos. Now, we are past the time, so when we can take easy fights, everyone has uh, formed into alliance blocks, but I think Elkos is the best move forward for us. Now, I do eventually need to own all provinces in the Wraithlos region. And are you going to tell me? Yes. Our vassal actually owns that, and that is their capital. Okay, so we're going to want to annex them as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and let time pass and improve relations with them, so that way we can start to do that. I wanted to keep them around for longer, but I want to make sure that we can uh, get through our mission tree, as that's pretty important. Alrighty, an alliance from the Sleek Call. I do not want them as an ally. We don't have a ton of manpower, but probably enough to do what we need to do. Bribes are growing. Uh, bribes. Bribes are growing more accepted. Uh, we will spare no expense. Elkos is no longer a valid rival. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and start to build a uh, spy network here for a little bit more siege ability. I'm going to want to make sure that uh, I can get to this level 3 fort as fast as possible. And that will be helped by our general, that is a magical leader. Three siege, not fantastic, but it is something. And we are, of course, studying to increase... Uh, I can't remember what school it was. I think it's transmutation. And so we have gained 100 magical study experience. We are also converting provinces slowly but surely i didn't figure out uh oh never mind never mind embellishment of foes uh we will take the prestige why not adventurous defeat bandits level up almost good to uh take this tech eight once we take tech i think we will declare the war and we gain more study progress very nice let's go with ship trade power well hmm I don't know if I want to do that yet. One, two, three, four. Max out our force limit here. Uh, I'd rather spend the money on other things at the moment. I really don't care what other people think of me. They're all going to hate me anyways. Yeah, let's give them the influence. That's fine. Magical study demands effort. Uh, No, we'll just keep it the same pace. And we'll go ahead and actually grab a second claim here. Spend a little bit less Diplo. And now we can lock in both admin tech and military tech, which is very nice because now we won't be paying the, uh, oh, what is it? Unbalanced research. And that gives us a pretty large advantage when it comes to military prowess. So we're going to go ahead and declare war for Elkos. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely a little bit of a nerve wracking war going on here, but I do think that we will be able to win it. What we will not win is the naval game, so our boys need to make sure they are hiding. And again, not having naval supremacy is not good for us, considering our capital is on an island, but it is what it is. I, okay, I'm going to bring the speed down to four. Can't really afford to uh, make too many mistakes early in the war here. This should hopefully be a stack wipe. Mm, nope, Ancient Forest is enough to uh, keep them up. Shock damage received minus 10 is huge. And yes, they are in fact going to go land on the capital. Oof, that's a problem. That is what we call a problem. Do they have the heavies here? They don't. 
Let's grab an Admiral and contest that. I think that's going to be our best move. And let's go at Elkos. Their capital, at least I should say. If they bring their heavies in, we may have a problem. Otherwise, we'll be all right. They did bring one in. We're still winning the battle. Oh boy. I uh, definitely should have considered that, but I think we're going to win. Yes, we should be winning. That's the power of morale right there. We didn't lose a single ship, not one, and they lost 15 light ships. That is beautiful. That brings us into a little bit more of an even uh, naval battle. Who is coming to fight us? Well, that's bad because we don't have any morale. Okay, that's fine. We're going to let our ships repair. Uh, we have pushed back the invaders for now. It's just a question. Okay, you don't have any cores there, so that's good. They have locked in. Let's take this fight. Support them a little bit. Won't be a wipe or anything like that, but it will keep them busy. I am not going to join you in that fight, though. That's for sure. And we will continue to convert provinces. Uh, this campaign is not about uh, being accepting of other religion. That is for sure. Now, as long as they don't go up in this direction, I think we'll be okay. These forts should be able to hold them off for at least a small amount of time. And speaking of forts, we shall... Okay, Defensive Edict is already there. Very nice. And our ships are repairing up quite quickly as well. Uh, yeah, I'd rather you not. Okay. Well, yeah, we get the uh, combat terrain bonus here, because this is a fort. So, we should hopefully do alright. Now, it says we have too many calves. Really? Why do we only have an army cavalry ratio of 12%? That's really bad. <laughs> huh, that must be our vassal. I'm not sure. But that will hurt them pretty big. Just uh, taking fights when we can, when we think it's smart. We luckily have a wall breach here. Once we can take the province of Elkos, then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable about the war. Okay, how do they stack wipe them? What is going on? Why is my vassal so bad? Well, it looks like we are going to be engaging in this battle. I'm going to reinforce it. Just to try and get them on out of here. And that is a stack wipe. I'm going to actually stay on this province. Uh, how are we looking for ships? Let's come down here and blockade. No. Take my chances. Uh, Dorkert is... Uh, I'd rather not have the unrest there, to be completely honest with you. Let's try and siege this province down. Once this province is secured, then we can go by and deal with these armies. Hopefully that can uh, hold. We're going to need to rearrange our forts at some point. And that is actually a sack of Elkos. Um, five army professionalism is good. Is it worth a loan? I think it probably is, right? 127, 5, yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. So we are going to scorch this province, and then we are going to sprint up north, because they have also gotten a wall breach. Fine. And hopefully they stay there. They are. Very nice. And they leave. I hate it when the AI does that, because then I can't sally out, but with our uh, magical war general, we really don't need more help. And this is the power of Mage Generals, is you can punch above your weight. I am not giving anyone access at the moment. Some more Magical Study progress. Go ahead and uh, Shift Consolidate. Hopefully this should be another win. Yes. Not a stack wipe, but it is. it was another win. How is uh, everybody feeling? Of course, we're going to want a full annexation here. No doubt about that one. Man, the problem with this region is everybody has a level 3 capital fort, and that's tough to deal with. Let's uh, engage this navy while the morale is still semi-low. Manpower is looking a little weak, but since we have that uh, sack, we may be able to uh, use that to gain manpower back. This should hopefully sink the heavy. Oh, it doesn't sink the heavy, but we did steal a light ship. So I suppose that's alright. All right, I think we engage. No, let's repair for a uh, tick here, and then we'll go engage their navies. 
We have renewed a loan. That's okay. We are losing five ducats a month. Wow. Let's transfer this fort over to our vassal so we don't have to pay for it. We will go wipe this army. Still doing all right. They don't have access through, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. And with that, we are good to push all the way south to deal with the enemy armies. Uh, everybody's still wanting in the war, but they are being attacked by Sidpar. So maybe they want, will uh, want out sooner rather than later. All right, we got 7.2 moving into Borkal. Let's try and meet them there. Nope, they are unfortunately going to get to run away. Yep, we will engage these uh, 2k that will, of course, get away. Uh, how many troops are we looking at now? We're still looking outnumbered. Let's... Hmm. Let's actually make a move. Can't go there. We could go here. Yeah. Let's make a move south. The fort should be able to hold out. They are fully healed, so let's go ahead and engage their navy. Should wipe it. Again, our national idea is we have plus one Navy tradition from the start of the game, so we are able to uh, keep some pretty decent admirals. This is annoying. This is Elkos' army, so I definitely want to catch this army and wipe it. That way they stop unseaching everything. And it looks like actually... Oh, that was our transport. That's alright. I'm fine with our transport getting knocked around a bit. Come on. Hmm... Let's leave 1,000 troops to siege and then try and catch their army. We can speed it up a bit now. We have everything that we need, basically, siege down. Where did their troops go? I have gotten got. They have outmaneuvered me. I have literally no idea where they went. A gift from the wild. So one fine day during your daily walk through the private wood, you find a most curious sight. A few bowls and bags overflowing with ripe fruit and golden trinkets. The objects are in two distinct piles, one with gleaming riches and the other with covered, shrouded secret goods. You spy a small scroll between the two piles, elevated above the muddy ground on a plinth, the paper sumptuous and gilted. Lilting and spidery script decorate the page. Dear Denarin the First, a fine day to you. We don't forget our friends, and we're truly sorry for what happened last time, so here's a gift for you. No strings attached, we swear. Go ahead, open the boxes. You know you want to know what's within. Shush, I was the one who was supposed to be speaking. Don't listen to them. Go ahead and take a few coins. We don't need them. Take coins or we can take points. I think since we're in a war and we are struggling for a little bit of money, we uh, take the money. Makes sense to me. Are any of you willing to peace out yet? Nope. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. This should be another wipe. Yes, it is. And now we will move south, as we are able to. Elkos, do you have any troops? Yes, you do. Where are your 8,000 troops, then? That's what I'm a little worried about. Was that them? It was. Ha-ha-ha! Get wrecked! Oh. Oops. Well. Now my vassal might be able to pull this off? I'm not gonna, like, reinforce or anything too early. There we go. Are you willing to peace out? You're like full occupied by someone else. Your capital's besieged. I don't know why you would want to stay in this war. Seems kind of foolish to me, but okay. You do you, I suppose. Yeah, I think they're going to get full annexed here. No. They just peaced out for nothing? Really? Oh, no. This just unseaged everything because it was no longer uh, under occupation. Okay, well... We will fix that. We will occupy at least one of the provinces. Okos wants to peace out. I'm not interested in that. Not until I have a full annexation. Aha, but one of his allies does one out. Thank you. Have a very nice day. And then we go ahead, we jump on these two provinces, and that should allow us to peace him out when the time comes. There we go for peace still at negative five that's fine we keep one troop there just in case you are trapped you should not be trapped okay well let's just move you back hopefully you get black flag and i can send you up north uh some rebels have spawned that's okay we'll survive 
There we go. We can at least throw our good general up here in the north. We're not by flag. So they're stuck. Let's send them just here to loot. And we engage on these troops. Read example. Well, that's all good things. Here's Pelomar some bonuses. Nah. Screw you, Pelomar. I don't want you to have things. All right. That's those troops taken care of, and this should take out the remaining troops in the war. Should hopefully be enough for everyone to want to peace out. Uh, Elkos, how are you feeling about a full annexation? Probably not thrilled with it. But, oh, you are. Okay. Beautiful. Then we will go ahead and get out of this war. Thank you for playing. Uh, okay. Let's bring our troops up so we can smash the rebels a little bit harder. And we will begin to core everything. Now, we are over our governing capacity, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and hand out land rights. And then we will have to probably seize land and deal with whatever rebels there are because of that. Because don't want to be over. I just don't like being over. I don't know if it's really all that bad. In the early game, it probably is. But I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and protect trade once again roll the trade for ourselves let's take our super good general off and let's also take land and they actually ticked up over 250 during that period of time so no rebels for us woohoo why are we losing seven ducats are you insane are we like spending a lot of money no what are we losing money from i mean missionary maintenance is expensive just the army and a lot of forts. I should admit, a lot of forts. Uh, I think we are good to drop this fort now. Keep this one as like our forward fort. And then drop this farmlands fort. That's, I mean, it's good promise to protect, but it's just not worth the upkeep cost. We are, of course, paying to uh, replenish our troops. Now they are going to, first off, check on any rebels. Yes, let's get you actually drilling a bit. Uh, I do want to go back to war with the Jumrid Court here. Uh, I think our truce is actually up. It is. So let's start building a spy network. They should be relatively easy to get through. Their super good general has gone. I don't think they have any forts left, so... It's just a matter of time until we can fully annex them. Let's improve relations with our vassal. We are studying magic. Everything is going well for us right now. Aha! And a spell has expired. Let's go ahead and get that right back up. I like having encourage plant growth on all the time. It's 20 diplo points for goods produced and like local unrest reduction, and it's just it's worth it in almost every case. Unless you're really struggling for Monarch points, I think casting that spell through the Mage Estate is a good idea. I don't want to spend more money. Oh, hey, never mind. We're going to spend more effort. Definitely don't want to stop now when we're so close to uh, being done. We check on our progress. We are about halfway there. A little bit over half. Rule is challenged. Devotion drops. Oh, right. Because we're studying magic, our devotion is lowering, and our religious unity is also not good. Uh, I will take the money. I don't care if it lets uh, a little bit more unbalanced go. Let's repay our loans. Now we only have one left. I just, I don't like the feeling of having loans. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> and we can get our first uh, age ability here. So I think we go for higher developed colonies. I know that we're not technically using the colonies at the moment, but I think that that is uh, what's going to be best for us going forward. Now we also need to get some claims down in the south. So let's build claims on you. Or no, 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 sorry, not claims. I want to annex my vassal. Uh, well, do I? Because they have uh, cores too. Uh, I don't know if that's really worth it to wait for. Let's annex them. It'll take a couple years. Three Diplo a month. Sounds good to me. We can grab the Quest for Atlantia idea. That's exciting. And with it, we can go ahead and choose three of our light ships. One, two, three. 
The rest of you can continue to protect trade. Of course, love making that money. And then we will buy and explore the first chance we get. And that'll be a while because we're only getting a positive of one Diplo a month. Uh, it's rough when you have a bad ruler, but we need the general. And so I do not regret my decision. And we no longer have a couple of claims. I'm not sure exactly where they were. All right, that is those rebels taken care of. And look at that. There's rebels in the north. I wanted to go there anyways. So let's head on up. Oh, man. Okay. Mission tree here. We just have to keep expanding. In fact, in our next war with Jimbert Kurt, we'll probably be able to complete this mission, which should open up a lot more for us, which is pretty exciting. Really looking forward to uh, seeing all the content. We actually don't have too many wars left until we can fully uh, control this peninsula here. Really, there's only one more large kind of alliance chain, and that's Helamar, Trigum Garb, and Strutmer. I'm not worried about these guys. Not in the slightest. Curse of the Child. Oh, so our child will be stolen. Well, I mean, first off, nice. Second off, that's a fully grown adult. Third off, yeah, get rid of him. I don't want him. He was trash. <laughs> that's great. Uh, thank you, Faye. I appreciate you stealing away that uh, like, very terrible old man from us. Uh, we have rebels. There are always rebels. Nobody's ever satisfied with anything you do. And we actually have enough for an explorer. Our explorer is actually just straight up better than our current leader. Our current admiral, I should say. Let's go ahead and explore. I have no idea what literally any of these mean. So I'm just going to click a random one and they're going to leave. Study progress is increasing. Good for us. We could state some more territory. Uh, I kind of want to take the next idea group, though. Or, yeah, so I can get the next idea group. Probably go... I don't know, actually, what I'm going to go with next. I'll have to think about that uh, in between episodes. Now, we have taken care of those rebels. We have some manpower. You have one ally that literally doesn't matter. I think it's time that we uh, take him out once and for all. Uh, yeah, you can keep exploring. Uh, we go for the coast okay or not no coast oh that's because we just explored down here yeah i do not know what all the names and such are in the mod so just kind of clicking randomly but that's how you learn things no diplomats to spare that's fine i can easily bring one back and we will jump into a war with our arch enemies of the winter court Throw our good general on and uh, split in half because I would like to not run out of manpower instantly. That would probably be a good thing. Naval supremacy we definitely have, so let's bring our light ships over. Perhaps we can capture some ships. Kind of nice. Make sure we have our secondary general. Oh, always got to make sure those generals are in the right spot. We should be able to kind of roll through these guys for the most part. We won't forget this. Uh, always take. Always, always, always. Except for maybe like 1% of the time. Take improved relations. There's literally no reason to do it any other way. Improved relations is very good. Prevents coalitions. Prevents more bad things from happening. All in all, always worth it. And nope, gold is the sign of nobility. I will gladly take one stability. I appreciate that. Maybe we can actually get some... Uh, Good stuff going in our land. They have a war wizard. That's disappointing. We are going to back up. And we have won the siege. We don't need to scorch it, I don't believe. And then we are going to engage them here in the forest. Yes, it's forest, but uh, we should win. Speed 5 makes it to where I can't look at the battles, which is unfortunate. But uh, I think we take this fight. We have a much better admiral. Go ahead and continue to explore coast first. Now I know that there is a nation in here, so that's probably going to be where we try and expand to first. We got to go into these nations and this one. Try and secure as much of our kind of home area as we can. Yeah, we absolutely dominate them. Turn around, deal with these rebels. I want the occupation. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
we will convert the province of Arakaprun, which was, of course, the name of the nation that we once annexed, our greatest threat to the south. So it'll be good to bring them into the light. Let's chase them back. Oh, that is unfortunate for you, isn't it? Great for me. Fantastic for me. Terrible for you. We are, of course, going to go for a full annexation. No questions asked. Uh, how much war score are you? 37. I could... I could annex you, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I want to make sure that I can continue to annex my vassal. I've got a Diplo idea group coming up, and there's no rush, necessarily, to uh, take them out. No, I don't want to invest more money. Money's not really something I have in abundance right now, if you haven't noticed. So spending more on it doesn't matter. And I mostly just did the uh, magical study just to show it off. I really don't think it's worth it. Uh, unless you have a strong person. Oh, I forgot to input the no bull thing to not get minus diplo rep. That's okay. We don't need no diplo rep. Are you kidding me? No allies for us. Uh, and we can't actually upgrade into a kingdom title. So I didn't necessarily need to give away that privilege to the estate, but we'll survive. And that also finishes a mission for us. Unite the North March. So the ancestral homeland of the Tuathak, the Northern March guards the rest of Orden from the despicable Snekboth Idolatress. Now that the Iodus defilers have been dealt with, our home has been made secure from all but our wavering kinsfolk. Our people still disunited, our land still vulnerable to the sneaky Pitar, the haughty Selfereg, and the savage Snekboth. The Tuathak will weather these tumultuous times and we will always triumph over the long winter. So we get a permanent claim on all Tuathak provinces. 25 years, we gain plus 10% infantry combat ability, minus 10% core creation cost, and plus 10% manpower recovery and speed. And we can actually instantly complete the march into spring. Autumn has secured its sovereignty against the coming cold, but another force lurks that threatens our peace. This, the Selfareg of the Spring Court, the ancient borders of our people. Passment of the first change in autumn leaves was stolen from the Tuathek from the opportunistic Akapruni journals. We must ensure not only that our lands are restored to our rule, but that the unnatural magics of the spring cannot threaten us anymore. A Rekaprune and its spring court must be shown its rightful place under our watch. We gain permanent claims and some military power and prestige. Uh, what that was alluding to is that the spring court is focused on artificery, I believe. So if you're looking to play in this region, uh, that is definitely where you want to go if you are into artificery and all the mechanics. It's about building tall, and it was super interesting, and I considered it. But uh, already did a artificer playthrough on the channel, and I'd like to dive more into the magic side of things. Now, let's go ahead and send our explorer right back out. Explore that coastline. Once this fort falls, we should be able to full annex. Uh, yeah, we'll take the mercantilism. That's fine by me. Please. And nope, okay. Not looking like uh, it wants to do it for us. Please just take the 64% siege, I believe. Ooh. Well, well, well. Yes, we will go up to three stability. That sounds perfect. And that is that all done for. You will uh, not give me money. Are you kidding me, man? War reps, a little bit of money. Have a nice day. I don't really want to fight you. Uh, well, I don't want to have the same truce, because this will be a longer truce. And you, we will finally annex, I believe, the last Winter Court nation. Now, these are just uncolonized Winter Court provinces, uh, but this will complete the crusade that we had started in the beginning. Oh, gotta wait a day. And just like that. Boom. Now, Strutmark does make our borders look kind of ugly. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but that's okay. We can go ahead and core all of that. We can't core that province because there are pesky rebels on there, and you know what we do with rebels, they've gotta go. Uh, we are looking good when it comes to trade. Once we secure this southern trade node, we will be making a lot more money. And funeral honors just like that, our general and leader has died. He led us to victory one final time against the winter court and uh, kicked the bucket. And we now have a 5-4-6 leader God, I hope you live a long time. Uh, and the body will rot. Let's take a look at where we're at. No. 
Actually, yeah, I'm not paying money. Air needed. Uh, a noble scion. I don't think this was an option. Sure, I'll click it. Why not? All right, and we will for that province here. Oh, 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 please. <laughs> Gotta make sure we put another general on. Our heir is craven. Never a good thing. Unfortunately, our ruler did not get a powerful mage, but that is okay. I will take the points instead. I think that is a fair trade. Let's split in half. Uh, make sure that we core this province. We do a little bit of exploring of the sea. National decision available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could take tech. No reason to take it early. And I think with that, we are going to end the episode here. I would say that was extremely successful. We moved south a little bit. We finally finished off the winter court. Uh, we just need to secure the rest of the land in Ordent. And then I think we'll be good to form a new nation semi-soon. We will be keeping the ideas of Einzig, though. Uh, we haven't really gotten to look at them in depth yet, but oh my goodness, they are powerful. I am looking forward to what's coming next. But I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.